Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Explore. In this tutorial, we are going to assemble Boxer 6 engine. So let's start. From file, select new, then click on assembly, then click OK. Select Boxer 6 crankshaft, then click on open. Then left click to put it. Right click over the part and select floor. Right click over right plane and select normal tool. Right click again and select sketch. Select center line. Draw a vertical and horizontal center line connecting the origin point. Now exit the sketch. Now press control and select this surface and this horizontal line. Then click on mate. Select concentric. Then click OK. Now select this surface and the vertical center line. Then click on coincident, then click OK. Now you can see the part can rotate freely. Now close the mate. Right click over top plane and select normal tool. Right click again and select sketch. Select center line. Now put the cursor over this edge and the midpoint will be shown. Draw a line from the previous center line through the midpoint now similarly draw another line but in opposite direction now repeat the process Now exit the sketch. Select insert component and select first seven components. Then click on open. Now click on that part to put it on your desired place. Now press control and select the cylindrical surface of the ring and cylindrical surface of the piston pocket. Then click on mate. Select concentric and click OK. Now click on this surface and this surface. Then select coincident then click OK. Then close the mate. Expand the insert component and select copy with mates. Select the ring then click on next. Select the cylindrical surface and then select the upper surface then click on ok now close the mate select tangential surface of welding press control and select the cylindrical surface then click on mate now select the surface and select this surface then click on coincident and click ok now close the mate select copy with mates Select the surface and click on next. Now select the cylindrical surface and select the lower surface. Then click OK. Now close the main. Now select the tangential surface of the expander. Press Ctrl and select the cylindrical surface of the pocket. Then click on main. Select concentric and click OK. Lower the piston. Select this edge and select the surface. Click on coincident, then click OK. Now select the whole surface and select the outer surface of the pin. Then click on concentric and click OK. 
the expand piston press control and select the front plane now expand piston pin then click on the front plane now click on make select coincident and click ok now select the surface of the connecting rod and select the outer surface of the piston pin then click on concentric and click ok now close the main expand connecting rod select the front plane of the connecting rod now press control and select the front plane of the piston then click on main select coincident and click ok now right click over this part and select move with tire then rotate this part now select this surface press control and select this surface then click on mate select coincident then click ok now select the internal surface of the hole and select this surface then click on concentric and click ok similar for this side now select this surface and this surface click on concentric and click ok now expand advanced mate select with select this surface and this surface and select this surface of the connecting rod and this surface of the connecting rod so these two surfaces will be at middle of the previous two then click ok now go to standard mate again select concentric then click on the cylindrical surface of the piston and click on the center line that we created at first then click ok now if you rotate the crankshaft then you can see the piston is moving at reciprocating motion now we need to adjust the gap of the rings the first two ring will be at 80 degree angle with each other so rotate the second ring and this gap will be at this direction the welding gap will be at 90 degree with first two Now we need to lock the rotation of these gaps. So expand mate. Right click over concentric and select edit feature. Then here click on lock rotation, then click OK. Now repeat this process. If you get confused which concentric relation to select, then put the cursor over that relation and you can see a violet color will be shown. This will help you to select the proper concentric relation you can see a blue dot at the middle of the concentric sign this means the rotation is locked now expand the insert component and select copy with mates now select all of these components the blue color indicates this component is selected then click on next at first select the concentric so select this surface 
then it asks for width so select these two surfaces and then it asks for concentric again so select the center line then click ok now repeat the same process if you get confused with surface to select then you can follow the violet color this comes with each command which will help you to select the proper surface Now rotate the crane shaft to check the assembly. Now go to file and save it. 